Hey guys, this is my haul video. Garen haul, book haul, movie game haul. So, kind of everything haul. Yesterday, my dad took me to the future shop so I could look at cameras so I could get a camera for my birthday. Which I did, which I'm filming on right now. And I'm so happy I have it. Um, so anyway, we got that. And then, after, oh, and when we were there... My dad got this, um, this set on DVD. It's something from back when he was younger. Um, it's called Fantasy Island. Um, I watched the first episode of it, and it's funny and kind of creepy at the same time. But I finally figured out where dad says, the plane boss, the plane, because my dad always does that whenever we see a plane driving overhead. I didn't know what it was, but I guess it's Tattoo. This little guy right here. Who does it? I love him. He's hilarious. He's, yeah, Tattoo, I love him. He's hilarious. I just, yeah. Um, so then anyway, we went to Zeller's to get something to eat. And my sister decided to grab a Flyers event past, and they had games and movies and a bunch of stuff on sale, including yarn, which I will do last, you know, save the best for last. So anyway, um, my sister went, because it was, the games were buy one, get on half price. So I, she found th three that she liked, but she couldn't figure out, a find a fourth one that she liked. So she said, well, pick one that you want, and then we'll do it that way. So like, okay. I found three three that I really really liked and I was interested in uh, but I didn't know which one to get and my dad fit, pulled out the movie the one, the one I got I said oh I want that screw the others and I'll toss the other ones back in the bin and I said I'm getting this one so I got this one it is Pets Moonlight Magic it's really cool I've already started playing it basically what you do is you take care of your animals and then you fill up their meters and then when they're full you can go play mini games and they're actually really fun. And then if you get a gold in that mini game, you get unlock a new pet. So I've done it. I, I think I've maybe logged an hour total on it. I already have three pets. My first one was Bryn, Adrian, and Liam. Don't ask me why I picked those names. I'm just kind of decided with the Irish names. Because I started off with Bryn for my first one, and that's the idea, the idea that came in my head. So that's the one I named. So I decided to stick with the Irish names. Then again, I'm not even sure if Bryn's Irish, but it seems Irish to me. Anyway, I'm rambling. So the next things I got is I got a couple movies. I got um, The International with Clive Owen and Naomi Watts. And I think it looks good. I haven't watched it yet. And the other one I got, which everybody's like, oh my god, you shouldn't watch it, you shouldn't watch it. Because, basically, I'll say this, when I was little, I used to watch scary movies, and even movies that weren't really that scary, and I'd get nightmares. But it's a running joke, my sister has this running joke that I was afraid of front Casper the Friendly Ghost when I was little. Which, I honestly don't remember being afraid of him. So, yeah, so it's a running thing that when I see a scary movie, I have nightmares. But, it's been a nightmare kick. I've watched, I've seen... Scream, like the original Scream. I haven't watched any of the new ones yet, though. Um, Scream, Piranha, Piranha 3, yeah, Piranha 3D. It's sitting down on my shelf. Um, and um, I know she did last summer one and two. So I got this one, The Haunting of Molly Hartley. And I saw the trailer for it, and I'm like, okay, now I really want to watch it. But whenever I watch a scary movie that I haven't seen before, I always watch it in the mornings. Because then I have time to kind of de paranoid before I go to bed. It's kind of funny. And then, so then after, I checked out some games to make the magazines. And I got this one. Um, lo Love of Knitting. And the reason I got this is because it has this, uh, this, um... Um, here, this article, Measuring Up Mastering Gauge, and I hate 
doing engage with a passion. So, all this, I haven't even read it yet, but I think it look, it's going to be really cool. So anyway, I got this, the love of knitting. And then, because my aunt has been sick, and she's in the hospital, and da 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 she's just got a bunch of health problems, and it's just, it's kind of bad, I wanted to make her a prayer shawl. So, and for those of you, and I'm sure basically anybody who's going to watch this probably knows what prayer shawls are, but in case somebody is watching this that has no idea what a prayer shawl is, and I don't blame you because I didn't either at first, but anyway, a prayer, the difference between a shawl and a prayer shawl is that when you do a prayer shawl, you pr I think it's kind of like you praying while you're making it, or you pray over it after, just something like along those lines. And I started on a prayer shawl for my aunt, and I'll show you what I have so far. That's what I have so far. I have cast on. That's all I've done is I have cast on. Because I wasn't sure what, how to pray or something while I was making it. So, anyway. I saw this. And I had to get it. Um, it's by Lion Brand. It's the Prayer Shawl Ministry Volume 2. And I love it. It's got letters from Prayer Shawl Ministries. And for me, which I really need, it has all of these different prayers. And I think it's got 12 prayers. So it's got the 12 prayers. It's got a page of with all the different homespun or yeah, homespun yarn. And yeah, so it's got that. And it has 10 um, 10 patterns. These are some on the back. Um, 5 to knit and 5 to crochet. So I got that, and I've already kind of flipped through it, and it looks really good. So I got both of those. And sorry if you hear my dad, he's kind of moving around, getting ready for chores and whatnot. Just a sec. There we go, how to get my yarn. So then, they had for not craft more acrylic yarn on sale for two for two bucks. Because I guess they're normally a buck fifty each. So I got eight. Because I need more yarn. The only problem is that I have with these is the really, the balls are really tiny. I'm not sure what I can make with them. But I'm thinking if I get good at working in the round with double point needles, I might make some baby hats with them. Um, so I got this one. Oh, I love it. I love this camera. Like, the colors show up so amazing. Um, but yeah, so I got this. It is... Sprite. Sorry, I'm talking too long. I gotta make water. So I got that one. I think... Yeah, I only got one of those. And then I got this and it kind of looks it kind of looks like a bluey green but it's like a purple it's called soft amethyst and if I can find it I bought two I really just organized today sorry and then I don't think I'd make a baby hat with this but I got um, this. It is called uh, granite. Oh, that's why it's not working. There we go. Sorry, my screen went black on my computer. My computer is right behind me. <laughs> right behind the camera. Dad, can you grab it? Thank you. Sorry, probably my mom calling. So I got two of those just because they're kind of a neutral shade. Then I got this one, and I really like this one. It's kind of pretty. It is that. 
and it's called True Periwinkle. Didn't realize Periwinkle looked like that. Okay. I'm doing some every day. And the last yarn I got is this. And it is such a cool color. It's kind of like pinks, pink and orange, kind of wrapped up in one. And it's called Ultra Peach. So I got, and I got two of those. So that is my my yarn haul. Um, yeah, I th think that is. Yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great week, and I guess I'll see you in the next cast off video or the next time I do another yarn haul, which. Last is something for a project. Hopefully, we'll be meeting again another one until I have yarn that I genuinely need for a project. But you never know. Bye, guys. Sorry.